So I'm David Cicerelli, the CEO and co-founder of Voices.com. Uh, Voices uh, is an online marketplace where we connect businesses, creative producers, advertising agencies and so forth with professional voice actors. The people who do voices for radio and television commercials, animated videos, uh, phone systems and the like, educational content and so forth. So we have a global network of 100,000 voice actors from all around the world. So earlier this year, I spent three months in Silicon Valley um, and during that time I heard about this contest called If I Had Glass. And it was a contest put on by Google, um, basically inviting people to submit an application on Twitter or Google Plus, basically finishing the sentence, if I had glass, you know, what would you do in order to win the possibility of, of obtaining these uh, new wearable technologies, this kind of computerized eyewear. So I said, as an audio engineer, I would be doing something incredibly entrepreneurial with sound or the human voice. Um, and didn't really hear anything for, uh, you know, for a couple uh, weeks and probably, in fact, a couple months until one day I just received a reply on Twitter that says, uh, congratulations, uh, you're part of the Google Explorers program. Google Glass is wearable technology. It's a tiny computer that's packed into the side of the rim on your eyeglasses. Um, and basically it does everything that your smartphone can do. Um, you can do searches on Google, you can receive messages from email, even phone calls, um, take photos and video, uh, you know, bring up maps and so forth. So as I said, everything that your smartphone can do um, is possible on Google Glass. When you're wearing Google Glass, you actually see what's the equivalent of a, a 50 inch screen TV, basically in your peripheral vision that's kind of floating out there in space. A lot of people think that you're actually looking through the lens, uh, the crystal display, but actually sits nicely above your eyes, kind of at the brow line, so that you can glance up when you need to, to look at the information, um, and then be able to see what's on screen, and then kind of get back to work or doing whatever you're doing. I think one of the best features of Google Glass itself is the ability to be hands-free. Um, you know, a lot of farmers probably need that ability, um, particularly if they're working on machinery, equipment, you know, working with others, even communicating. Um, and I think that's kind of a, an underestimated um, benefit of, of Google Glass. Uh, you know, from my perspective, I'm seeing you know huge commercial uses, industrial uses, medical, military, um, agriculture as well. So possibly, you know, not necessarily for the, the mainstream, but I think we'll discover that as third-party companies build applications for a device such as Google Glass, um, we'll all start to kind of reap those benefits. So here we have Google Glass. You can see this is actually a titanium frame that's, as, that's actually quite flexible and bendable. Um, and aside from this titanium frame, on the other side here, we actually have uh, really where this computer is. So this is what I would cons consider the trackpad, kind of like your mouse where you are navigating forwards and backwards uh, throughout the content that's displayed through this little lens. Um, so this is a crystal display. It, it uh, works like a prism, so it projects uh, the information or the data out in front of you. You also see on the front there's a little uh, video camera as well as a microphone in there. And for the way it works is to navigate around is either using the trackpad or you can use uh, voice commands. And you'll see there's actually a little microphone in there as well too that's kind of pointed down at your mouth. Um, the sound, if you are listening to something back, emits out of this side kind of piece here that works similar to um, you know, a, a hearing aid really. And it vibrates the back of your skull using a, uh, a process called bone conduction. And then there's just the power button there. Um, if you wanted to sync the information from Google Glass to your computer, such as your photos and videos that you've captured, there's just a mini USB uh, port on the bottom. But all in all, it's a pretty, pretty simple s uh, device. Currently, Google Glass is available only to uh, the Google Glass Explorer. So people like myself, there's about 8,000 of us in the world. Um, the, what I've heard at this point is uh, about 12, 18 months from now, um, they'll become uh, available on the mainstream uh, market. Google's attempting to make this competitive to smartphones uh, today, so the price point would be somewhere between three to five hundred dollars. So hopefully, if someone's making a debate between do I get the next generation cell phone, or maybe I want to try something hands-free where I can take videos, uh, photos, uh, and be kind of out and about um, that way, then uh, Google Glass is, is positioned as a, as a viable alternative.